Okay, so welcome to the episode. Um, our next category or topic in this case is called Scratch. Um, most of you guys had my lecture, but for the people who missed it, I'm going to post this for you guys so that way you guys can see it. Um, please log on to scratch.mit.edu. That's the, that's the website we're going on. It's a free application. It just teaches you how to program and logically do stuff, which is great for, um, uh, for people who need the logic. Um, it's simple programming. It helps you learn how to program properly. So that way you know the logic before you start writing the syntax. It's kind of like a birthing. So what you're going to do is you want to join Scratch. So right here, join Scratch or sign in. Right now I have an account, but I need you all, emphasizing, I need you all to join Scratch because that is the most important thing. Um, if you don't, you can't save your projects, and when you can't save your projects, you can't turn it in. So we're going to sign in. I'm going to sign in. You're going to join Scratch because I already have one. Um, since I already have one, we're going to go into it. Um, Here's the layout. There's things that you can do. You're going to go to My Stuff. So click on the top where your account is. Go to My Stuff. I have a bunch of programs ready to go already, as you can see. What we're going to do is we're going to show a little bit of what, what happens to Scratch. Um, as you can see, what happens inside. If I click on it, you get this simple animation and stuff like that. So we're going to learn how to do a little bit of that stuff. So... So let's get started. I'm going to start. You're going to add a new project. So click on a new project. When you click on a new project, you will get a little different menu. You have the cat right here, which is great. You have all your motions. So if you look at the right side, on the left side, sorry, um, you have motions. Motions, what the cat's going to do. If I want him to move 10 spaces, he will move 10 spaces all the time. Looks means that he's going to change costumes. If you go into costumes right here, you have different costumes that he can use. So you can make him say hello. So if you click on it, he'll say hello for two seconds and he'll disappear. You can make him change costumes every time. Stuff like that. Sound. Little sounds. He mouths all the time. Event. Event is when you want it to do. Instead of hitting, instead of clicking on it all the time, you can make it do space. Or you can make it do any other letter and stuff like that. When the spirits is clicked, stuff like that. Messaging, we will talk about this. This is called a function. Um, this is called a function. The functions are when you call something back. Controls, these are all your loops and methods. Um, these are all your repeats. So you want something to repeat several times or forever. If then statements, you know, cause and effect statements. If something happens, then something else happens. Sensors, when something happens, if you press the space key, as you can see, if I do the if that if statement, and then as you can see, it's like fitting blocks. It's like kindergarten, fitting blocks where they go. If you have a circle, a circle doesn't go in, but when you do a simple thing like that, it actually fits and it'll fit in there. So basic stuff like that. To get a mo to get something out, you just hold and drag it out to this thing, and then it'll move. Um, you can put it on the bottom. As you can see, it'll highlight. As you get closer, it'll highlight as it gets closer. When you click on the top one, it moves everything. Underneath is when you separate them. So if I have a bunch of little tools like this, right? If I click this one, it'll separate everything but the bottom. So you have to get the last one so it can separate. To delete, you just bring it back over and it deletes everything. Um, operations, all your math operations are over here. Uh, variables, make sure you have your variables and stuff like that. Um, you can create a variable so you can see some stuff. My blocks, you won't have that until Robotics 2. You're going to add a new one for me. We're going to go to this blue case right here. And we're going to click on pen. You're going to need this pen because this will make the cat draw. So let's talk about the cat. So the cat here will um, is basically on a coordinate plane, so the X and Y plane. So over here it tells you where you want to move it. 0, 0 makes it in the middle. Positive goes right and up. Negative goes left and down, so you should know that. You can orientate the cat however you want. Usually it's at 90 degrees. Just like that, okay? You can change the size of him and so forth. 
So um, if we go here, you can add another. You can add another picture to kind of make him uh, do stuff. If you need to add another character, you go into here, choose spirits. When you choose a spirit, as you can see, there are different things that happen over here. You can add new pictures of different people, different animals, and stuff like that. Um, so let's get started. We'll do something simple. Um, the reason we want to make this cat move 100 spaces. Unfortunately, we're going to move him over here. Unfortunately, when you do that, he teleports. It's because the computer does it so fast that you can't even see it. Computers think a th million, um, million combinations per second. So that means you can never, ever see what it's doing if you're doing 100 spaces. So if you want to see how the cat's actually moving, you're going to have to make a control. We're going to drop the repeat function 10 times. We're going to have to do a little math. If I want 100 steps, if you want to repeat, how many steps are you going to repeat 10 times to get 100 steps? 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 gives me 100 steps. So if I click on him, you can kind of see that he's actually kind of moving. If you want him to slow down, we can change this to 5. 5 times 25. No, 5 times 20. There you go. That's math to do. 5 times 20. You can see he slows down. If you want to slow him down some more, the more steps, the less steps you do, and the more repeats you do, the faster he'll, the slower he'll go. So, as you can see, I don't, if you keep doing this, he'll eventually go to the end and you can't do anything. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to reset the cat all the time. If I do this so many times, I want to make him a little faster, 25 times 4. So he does that, right? But what happens if he doesn't reset properly? Let's say I have him going at 90 de at like 45 degrees. And I do this all the time. He's going to be all weird and everything. What like what I want him to reset. Just like any movie, just like a TikTok. If I want him to reset, then I need to make sure that he resets all the time. So we're going to go back to the motions part. You're going to go and take a look at this one. This is the first. These are the most important ones. Go to X, Y, and point direction. So I'm going to move the cat to where I need him to be. So I'm going to reset him here all the time. As you can see, every time I move the cat, these numbers move. So take a look at these numbers right here. When I move the cat, one, two, three, these numbers move. So don't take it out yet until you move the cat. So now I have the cat ready. I'm going to pull him out, and I'm going to pull him out. These two are my resets. These are the most important. You're going to need these all the time for a reset. So as you can see, he resets back to his thing. So if I do this all the time, one, two, three, like that. I click on that, he resets. So that means this is going to be the best part when we do this. So we're going to put a reset on here, just like that. So every time you do something, he turns, he's going to reset every time. It's just like TikTok. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, we got to start over. Basically, that's what these two buttons do. They're basic start over function. Okay? So, those are basic the essentials of what we want to do. Uh, if you want to write a program, you, let's say you do this program already and you want to do another one, then all you have to do is do another one. Um, there are repeats right here. You go like this, duplicate, bring it over. You right click on the thing and you duplicate. Or you can delete blocks. Now, let's say I want to do a function. Let's say I don't want to write this 10 times. I don't want to write this function 10 times. Then that means that we can call a function now. Calling a function means that we're going to go to events. Okay, these two things we're going to talk about. This one and this one. Broadcasting. Broadcasting means that you're going to broadcast something to someone to do something. You're like, hey, deliver this package. You call someone's like, hey, you can deliver this package now. We call that a message. You're messaging someone to do something. This is the receiver. This person going to initialize the receiving part. You're going to broadcast that you want this guy to do something. So that's basically what we call a call function. In, in programming, 
there's always going to be a case when you click on something, it wants you to go to a different page or go to this page or that page. You don't want to write that a hundred times if you have a hundred buttons. If you look at any website, there's so many buttons out there. We call this a callback function because of the fact that it calls back whatever you do if you have a repetition or anything like that. So I'm going to put him here. When I receive this message, I'm going to do this function just this we're gonna move a hundred spaces because this hundred spaces is always gonna move all the time so we're gonna go with here this is my first function I'm gonna put a space bar so if I hit the space bar it's going to run this program so I reset so when I hit the space bar I reset the cat I want to broadcast to move a hundred spaces and I'm gonna turn them 45 degrees but if I do this He's going to turn 45 degrees first because, again, the computer does things instantaneously. If you don't want things to happen so quickly, you're going to have to put a wait time on here. I'm going to make it wait one second. There you go. So as you can see, he moves first. I want him to move first and then turn 90 degrees. So you have to put this wait function so the computer is like, oh, wait till this is done and then do the next part. And then the next part is I want to broadcast events. I want to make him move 100 spaces again. So here, 95 degrees, and then we move. So, and then now we can do whatever we want is the next part. We're going to make him turn again, just like that, and then turn him 45 degrees. So he moves, goes down, waits one second, turns, and then we can do another broadcast. And then I'll make him move another 100 spaces. So as you can see how fast I did, just put the broadcast out every time. Imagine having to do this three more times. Look how much extra space I'm going to have. The program will probably be down here. Now, when you're doing something large, I know it doesn't seem like a lot right now, but when you're doing something fairly large, this is going to get cumbersome. And that's why you have all these functions. You can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. Um, number one, then number two, and then number three, and then so forth. You can add all your work on the same page. Um, this is only for this spirit. If you have a new spirit, let's say I want to grab um, this bear. You're going to have to program him in the bear itself, okay? Not on the cat. You can't move the bear when you're in the cat. You have to program him in the bear itself. Um, if you go into his costumes, you can flip his costume. Let's say you want to flip him horizontally. That way, you and the cat can actually mingle and stuff like that. Okay? There are different things that you can explore and stuff like that. So that's the general direction of what you need to do for the first part. Like These are simple things. Now, on the next video, I am going to show you problem one. We're going to do problem one as the first example. So I'll see you in a bit. All right?